Dr. Owusu or Chalk. It's Dr. O for the 804. As the premier knee and hip shoulder sports surgeon, Virginia, I would like to remind you that health equals power. Sports build and uplift communities. Nothing else can. The mission of sports medicine is to keep athletes of all ages and levels at the top of their game. Dr. O is located at Ortho, Virginia, Schrader Road, office location. Appointments can be scheduled online at orthovirginia.com or by calling 804-939-6688. You can follow Dr. O on Instagram at Dr. O underscore for the 804 and uplifting educational content about sports health. Hi, everyone. I'm Coach Rick Stockel. I am co-owner of Newman and Dunn Real Estate here in Central Virginia, as well as I am a high school boys basketball coach at Monacan High School. I've sold over 1,300 homes here in Central Virginia, and I would love to work with you and your family in your home buying needs. Uh, I am a proud primary sponsor of Ballin in Virginia, and I hope you enjoy this show. Welcome to another episode of Ballin VA. We might break the internet on this one. <laughs> Y'all got to excuse my voice. I got the halls. I got the tea. Oh, man, I got Coach Priya from Maury, man. We had to have him back. <laughs> and he said he got some stuff to say. Hey. <laughs> hey, What's man. up, man? Hey, man, ain't nothing going on, man. I'm just here, man, enjoying a little bit of time. I left, you know, two-star football season over again. You know what I'm saying? So I want to come by, do this thing with you, man. So new season, you know what I'm saying, new expectations. So... I'm trying to let it all out, man. And then need to ask you questions about the season and you know social media or whatever, man. I'm here to tell y'all what it is, man. We ain't even started yet, no laughing. <laughs> A lot has went on since December. For sure. Congrats to you. Yeah, thank An- you. Man. Another state championship ring. Yeah. Um, this year was controversial, you know, with with you guys, the um Stone Bridge. Oh, yeah. You know, y'all beat Island Springs. Yeah. Y'all got the ball back. Got the ball back, Herman. Got it back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we can just go go right into it, man. Because, mm-hmm. you know, we've been, me and you have been playing this thing since, what, January? Yeah, most definitely. And I apologize. I had to cancel last week. Seemed like it didn't do no better. <laughs> but we're going to get through it. No question. <laughs> Tino Turner style. Hey. <laughs> Shout out to Tino Turner. Uh, rest in peace. Um, <laughs> man. What is going on, man? It's like, what is up with the 757? Why y'all don't stick together, man? Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, this, I mean, it's just a thing, like, in, in, in our area where I'm from, bro, we all want the title of being the top dog. Everybody want that title, that clout of being, this is my program, this is my, this is mine, this is mine, this is mine. You know what I'm saying? And ain't no love there, man. Ain't no love in the city. Ain't no love in the area. Because like I said, it feel like people are talk, you know, talk, talk good when they face-to-face, but when they're not around you, it's like, oh, he this, he that, he that. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's a lot of hate, but a lot of passive hate. Like, I'm cool that I see you in person, but behind your back, I'm going to talk about you. You know what I'm saying? It's people right now, I talk to every, like, you know, on regular, hey, what's up, Priv? And behind my back, they say, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he this, he that. I know for a fact. You know what I'm saying? Reason being, women. They're going to tell you. You're hey, right. Hey, hey, Priv, hey, Coach here, so he don't, he don't relate. He, he's that is true. But the same guy, I see him out, out in public. Oh, what's up, Priv? How you doing? What's up, bro? They be pillar talking they with do. the women, and those women <laughs> for go what to- reason? I don't get it. They don't realize that. And my thing is, I think that people are like me about that. If I don't like you, I don't mind letting you know I don't like you. Because I don't have to like you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, it's not saying I have to like you. You know what I'm saying? If I see you and I speak to you, you don't feel like I'm just expecting you. I don't, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't fuck with you. So why I talk to you in person? You know what I'm saying? So that's my thing. You know what I'm saying? So, But in the, in, in the area, prime example, football-wise, we got about six teams set on seven teams within the 10-mile radius. Right. I don't understand that. Our uh, area not that big had that many teams in one area. Right. My thing is, it should be one elite national team from one area. But in our, in our area, oh, who the head coach going to be? Who the coordinators? You know, what's the team they going to be? Oh, no, nah, y'all don't come out there. Oh, no, y'all going to join us. But nobody want to join, oh, they don't fight. They join them. You know what I'm saying? They want to all have their own thing where this is my program. This is what I do. I'm the man of this. So we can never get a... The best players in the area because everybody won the title of being the head coach or this is my program. But think about it. If we had all the best players in our area on one travel team, we could compete with the bootleggers, you know, South Florida Express. We could p- compete with those guys athletically, but we can never get there because people want the title of being the guy. 
So that's an issue we got in our, in our area, man. Nobody want to support each other. Like I said, they'll support quietly. If you win, oh, yeah, I know I can do it. But they lose, I knew they couldn't do it. I knew, I knew they couldn't do it. I said, I go in the 7-5-7. But in Richmond, I've seen something. You guys kind of sit together. We, we don't do that where I'm from. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, prime example, we were up in Holland Springs. Um, we had the film, and we didn't have no film. The reason why the guy gives a film, who cares? I don't really care. But we called around. They played Manchester. I said, hey, man, you know, coaching them, take the film from, from Holly Springs. Can we get the film? And the head coach said, I, I can respect this, though. He said, coach, you know what I'm saying? I understand why you're reaching out to me, but I can't give you the film. As a coach, I can respect that. We ain't from around there. We don't know you guys. Why give you the film? No problem. But where I'm from, they giving out free for the free. Giving out film for anybody who want it. They can have it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, more here you go, here you go, here you go. I'm like, yo, we not together like that because of the fact that they want you to see you lose. They want to see it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But don't don't expect support from our area. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. So I mean, the problem is, I, I would always say, seven five ain't what it used to be. No question. No question. They try it. to blame it on the reclassifications. Bullshit. Because <laughs> FIBA still winning. Yeah. And the talent pool is either caught up or it's not what it used to be. Yeah. And they're still living in the past. Some of, most of them. Trust me. And especially the PD. <gasps> they are so ancient. They, they're they still living off the Ronald Carey era. and He ain't walking he, through that door. The Allen Iverson era. He ain't walking through that door. I'm like, they still can break with the, you know, Mike Smith and all that. He ain't like, walking on, through that man. door. Like, let's stop playing with ourselves. Like, what we doing here? They were man? great in their time. They was. It's, it's how to let it go. You know they, what I'm saying? They can't let it go. <laughs> they can't. And so, but, but they can say, we got the most state championships in, you know, in Virginia history, in our area. A lot of teams. And I respect that. <laughs> But you just like the Dallas Cowboys. You know what I'm <laughs> we got five championships. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is. You like the Boston Celtics. You got, oh, we in the 60s or the 70s. We was good. <laughs> but we only got one championship. We got two in the 80s. <laughs> but then we got one in 20, whatever they, 108. And we ain't won since. Yeah. You okay. know? And and th that's why I say I respect Phoebe's program. Now, me personally, Oscar Smith is one. You know, Smith, you know, always, uh, but part of the PD's concern, I think that um, I have a respect for Phoebe's because they have maintained um, the, the success of winning. You know, so it ain't hard to do. I mean, it ain't easy to do. And me personally, I got a hate for Phoebe's because as well, out of the high school, the players, it was our rival. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I can't stand a phantom, okay? I can't stand them. You know what I'm saying? I can't. If I see the mascot right now, I punch him in his face. I swear to God. I, it's no. I will smack that mascot in his face, bro. It's the mascot. The mascot. See, see, when I was playing, they had a mascot, the muscle man dude, right? <laughs> and your team got to warm up. He would be out there showboating and dancing on you when you're losing. <laughs> it makes you mad that he's actually talking trash to you. He's a mascot. Right? So if I see you, buddy, up right now, he got to see me. He going to make me chill. He got to see me. Oh, my God. <laughs> the fucking mascot. Dude was tripping. I was like, bro, this, who is this guy, man? <laughs> so He's paid to do what he's supposed yes, to do. Yes, I know, man. I know, man. man. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't let it go yet. I ain't let it go. It's been about 15 years. I ain't let it go. <laughs> no, shout out to Phoebe. Shout For out sure. to Smith. Shout out to those greats, man, in 75. But you got a lot of farm systems down there. You got um, the Cold Boys. Yeah. They do anything. Coach Red, shout out to him. Yeah. Um, some of the other feeder programs that they got that I don't know about, but I heard about. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so, what, what, I mean, do you think they're going to return back to what it is? I mean, what what you think? Be, because recruiting is everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being from the 757 and being, um, being, I know it used to be as far as recruiting wise, the talent pool, I don't think it will get back to being a big talent pool area again just because of the fact that some of our best players um, that's from our area are not playing in our area anymore. Right. You know what I'm saying? And for whatever reason, that might be an opportunity, you know, I guess a national stage, that's cool, and, and find a day. IMG coming yeah, in. Yeah, you know, coming down, take kids, you know, um, you know, big power, that's cool, you know what I'm saying? But I think that we can say that we, not that we lost our edge, but it's not as big a talent pool anymore as it once was. I know when I came up, uh, we had different type of, you know, it was a lot of different variety of players on my era when I was even you know my era playing so but now it's, it don't seem as much I know when I like prime example high schools they were it was like probably four or five teams that was, was kind of solid 
in the districts, you know what I'm saying? You probably had to play. Now it seems like it's all top heavy. You know what I'm saying? Like right. it's, it's like the first thing used to be balanced. There's a little bit about a little more balanced than it is now. You know what I'm saying? Um I think that is a cause of, you know, kids not playing in the area that probably be playing in the area. Um IMG coming taking kids. You and know then what you saying? then the other areas are actually getting better. Yeah, we are. But sure. when I was telling the guys, it wasn't that y'all athletes were better. They coach better in the biggest stages. Yes. Where we tend to shrink mm -hmm. all the championships that John Marshall could have won, mm -hmm. George with. Mm -hmm. I mean, between them alone, the basketball program, they should have at least 10 state titles. Mm -hmm. You know, but y'all was, they were getting there, we just weren't finishing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, now, AAU football, AAU basketball, yeah. these kids are seeing each other, and it's like, okay, now we know. And then the coaching is getting better. Yeah, I think so too. I think yeah, so I was like, but and, and, and I think also I think the Richmond had their run with Hollis Springs winning those four straight, and you could see the difference between their their teams and the team they played against. I know for up for our way, the skill guys they cancel out. I think our skill guys are better. I always said it. Mm -hmm. I was I thought our skill players are better than their skill players. Um, but the linemen, man, you don't. We don't have those type of linemen where we from. Like they have the ones they had twenty five linemen. I'm like, yo, who were like two fifty or better? And you saw how they had success because they, they could run the ball. They were physical. They were tough. Bird, and, you know, they could run bird, the ball. One, you know, three bird, straight. Three and we don't have those linemen like that. You know, in our area, so it's kind of hard to, you know, first two quarters, you know, you can kind of maneuver. But third and fourth quarter, them big boys are wearing them down. Your kids, they get a little tired. They got depth of guys. You know, what I'm saying even when I'm from like right now at Mori, we probably got sixty kids. Total in our program, mm. JV and varsity. You see, Sprints come out, they got 100, 100 kids. <laughs> you know, we ain't do that with that. You know, that means they're being real. We first played yeah. them. I was like, they got so many kids. Like, you know what I'm saying? And in football, that means a lot because you got a different type of kid that can go in and play and be serviceable. You know, when my kids coach them tired, I need to blow. Behind me, little Timmy. He got to go in. Little Timmy go in. <laughs> we ate out the gate. You heard me? He out of there. Little Timmy go in that bit. And it's gone. So, you know, I think that the linemen thing play a different too in, in our areas too. We get, even Nova, Richmond, and us. Like, yeah. Richmond and Nova got the best line, I think. You know, then we got the you know best skill guys. Mm -hmm. So, depending on how you use them, you kind of kind of balance out each other. So, you know, and then you know I got to go that leads me right into this. Warwick. <laughs> Those guys. Come on, man. Stop playing. <laughs> Okay, Warwick. we got this fake page going around that everybody said allegedly. Warwick. This Warwick beef. You be calling out the coaches at Warwick, Churchland. Man. Come on, man. man. Give it to us, man. man. I'm going to go right into it. Man, Warwick, come on, man. It's... Okay, we, we those, about to hear it. This those, your stage. Man, those guys are... They're like they're front runners, man. They they're they're trying to be smarter than that. <laughs> Just being being a hundred, bro. You know what I'm saying? Which is cool because I remember when we first got together in Moore, 2018 year. You know, we kind of had a persona that we was kind of letting everybody know who was here, taking over. You know what I'm saying? Kind of loud mouths. You know what I'm saying? I understood that. You know what I'm saying? So, so I understand from that aspect. I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to say, "Hey, we're here to stay." But in the same token, at some point, you gotta produce. At some point, mm -hmm. you gotta produce. Like I remember when we first came up, our first year. Uh, play Lake Teller, my alma mater. Beat us down. Mm -hmm. 56 42. You know what I'm saying? And people come say, oh, yeah, more. They, they all talk. They all, they can't be Lake Teller. Okay, cool. I, I got I to gotta hold that. You know what I'm saying? They beat us. So we didn't get respect until we finally beat the guys, the big dogs in our conference, which is Lake Teller. We, we, until we beat them, we had no respect until we beat them. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like war, you have, let's, let's break it down. They have not beat anyone worthy. To give you guys clout or praise. Mm. Think about it. They lost Phoebus 25 to 225 to 0. All right. When then with it, being a 28 to 0. Following year, pay Phoebus again and lose to him again. You know what I'm saying? They play us, we put foot in their ass. So I'm like, you have not beat anyone to say we should respect you guys. You guys stink. <laughs> Just being real. Like, what, what are we talking about here? <laughs> like, this guy, the coach is so loud mouth. I'm gonna tell you something, man. This guy harassed me for a whole year. This guy harassed me since last January, inboxing me, saying, "Show me film clips about how his team better than mine's." You know, he, he, you know, whatever. And I'm like, bro, like, <laughs> you up at night thinking about thinking about my my team? Like, are you serious right now? Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> so yes, it come off as me being the bad guy because I feel like this guy harassed for a whole year about how his team is better than my team. How you gonna beat me when the time comes? And we play. 
and you lay an egg. <laughs> you get put 41 on in the first half. Oh, my God. If you was there, the game wasn't even close. Like, and my thing is. So why are they talking? <laughs> talk, talking crazy. Talk, pre-game warm-up, crazy. He got a, he, he talking cold cash shit, talking like, hey. And is that the game you got suspended game. because you got yeah. suspended that game? But people didn't see what he was doing to me, though. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't care. It's, it's okay. I'll be the bad guy. But when I beat you, you wouldn't know I beat you. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was talking cold cash stuff. You know what I'm saying? So my thing was, don't cry wolf when you lose. But before the game, it was, it, was, it was on. You know what I'm saying? Dude talking smack the whole day. And, I'm, and I like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I love the trash as a, as a player. People who know me, not facade. It's who I am. I've True. always been this way. So it ain't like I'm trying to be smart. I'm not. So I love the trash talk. I play better and I coach better in those moments. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like they have not won enough games to talk much, much as they talk. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> they talk so much trash and... They want to cry wolf when they lose. Like the Phoebus game, the dude had said when the coaches told me in Phoebus game when they played them, dude had a lot, lot, lot to say. But then pre after the game was over, they could turn to to, you know, to, to the city for they was you know, they was bullying war after the game. What you mean we bullying you? <laughs> what are you talking about? You, you gotta see them. <laughs> so I just feel like man, to 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 be a big dog, you gotta produce at some point. You gotta produce. Mm. Like you can't be zero and four against teams that you're. The same talent as, but you beat up on Gloucester, 7-0. You beat up on Hampton High. You beat up on Minchville. People on Grassfield. No matter Grassfield. Joe Jones, like you, my boy. But I'm saying teams like that, but you want to – and mind you, they had nine shutouts last season. Nine they, shutouts. They did. They did. You know what I'm saying? So he want to say how he better than on defenses. His stats wise better than mine. I'm like, bro, I'm playing real teams. You're playing nobodies. Yeah. I want to compare your team to mine. It's crazy to me. Yo, all the conference schedule last year was come, crazy. Come on, y'all man. <laughs> Wise, and they won state championship. They won state in, in high school convocation in Maryland last year. Right. Y'all blew them out. You know what I'm saying? We played Springs, a, a, good, a good Springs team, beat them. Y'all got uh, Springs. And then we were, was a good, good, good solid, well-coached then with the team. And I appreciate y'all giving me access to that oh, yeah, no sideline. I appreciate time. that y'all. <laughs> Coach became my boy Bryce. Appreciate that, man. Um, yeah, y'all, y'all looked out, man. Yeah, man, we talk about talk about war. It should be, it should be in that conversation talking to me, man. It shouldn't be, it should be talking to me. Like, what question be talking to me, man? <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> that he, 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 and that step is beneath me, and I, I'm, and I, I will say to their face, I've said it to him. That's why I got in trouble at the game. I told him, you are beneath me, man. You yeah, but, talking to me because you had to sit out the first half of the yeah, game. Yeah, the rubber game. Fuck, his, his AD, you know, uh, you know, put in a report that I was this at the third, which I was. <laughs> Which I was. I, I'm not gonna say it. That was on me. I was. I was not being professional at that time. I was not <laughs> because I was so upset that this man really tried to try me, like, saying he was better than me. You know what I'm saying? Like just the way he was coming at me. And as a man, as a competitor, it's hard to kind of hold that in. And right. people want to make sure. Oh, you gotta be a certain way. But if we about to go into battle. I'm a competitor. He's a competitor. I'm not backing down from him or anybody else. You know what I'm saying? But people want you to put in, in, in persona. Oh, you're a coach. You should act this way. Do I get that right now? We're, we're about to play a game. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And my adrenaline is going, and I'm confident in my team. I'm calling my coaching staff, and I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm juiced up. I can't, I can't put a hold on that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But once again, I was the bad guy, and I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. I'm okay hey, with that. Oh, uh, uh, man, you good with me on that one. That's crazy. <laughs> so lately, these exchanges back and forth with mm -hmm. this. We gotta address this fake page. Yes. Who the hell is it? And he been coming at you. Yeah. Now you know <clears throat> in the huddle, shout out to the huddle, Hove and Cook and everybody. But um they say that you down 21 nothing, man. Huh? They say you lose a 21 nothing. Man. <laughs> and, and once again, that's a funny statement though. You know what I'm saying? Dude just dude just talking, throwing out stuff that he has no Correlation was going on. Do you know who he is? Man, it, it gotta be only. It gotta be. It gotta be. It gotta, it gotta be the guy. I'm thinking. It gotta be the guy from from Ward. The coach okay. from Ward. It gotta be because reason being because mind you, I came out and said about the Ward. The Ward him himself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. So when he when he finally got the fake page, he kind of went into comparing defenses. Right. Yeah. So right now, now I got you. Now I know you. You're someone in that field because it's someone on that staff or whatever. Yeah. And he's on here a fan. No fan is gonna know that. 
No, he you know what I'm saying? Down. He'll break it down. He'll put the film off the, the, the Stone Bridge and <laughs> yeah. the loss, the like, 71 28. Come on, man. That's a loss. It's like, no fan doing that. Like, bro. you know, fan. Who you for? Who you for? Like, bro? I'm not playing. Damn, he bringing out a whole lot of shit. And then he he still re- referenced the defense. So I could tell it's him. It got to be it's him, like, trying to compare him versus me. You know what I'm saying? And once again, he not he not comparing the things that he's doing. Like, he playing a bunch of bombs. <laughs> Let's call it what they are. They little Timmies. You know what I'm saying? They playing bombs, and you want to bail shutting out bombs. And I'm playing real teams. You know what I'm saying? It got to be him. You know what I'm saying? Once again, we don't really know who that is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the same token, I'm going to stand up. You know, hey, man, you you just talking right now. Mm-hmm. Well, just talking. Yeah, well, like I said, I want you to dress it to kind of yeah, see what it is. Dude doing the most for no reason. And dude, kept, dude kept coming. He kept coming though. He, he did. He kept coming. It I'm was like, very bro. entertaining. Like, it's over. Like you know what I'm saying. Like, the beef is over right now. What are you talking about? You handled that very well. <laughs> so I was like, oh my god. I was talking to Mo Holloman, and she said, oh my god, Michael, Michael getting trouble. Yeah, I'm gonna get in trouble, man. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let my buddy have this one. He he won this round. I'm gonna let him chill. I'm gonna be the bad guy. When all said and done. I'm the bad guy. I'm gonna be put in the office, you know what I'm saying? So he won that one. Yeah, he gave a <laughs> shout out to Mo, man. We be tripping. Man, why we on the on that on that road, <clears throat> what in the world was that exchange about at the end of the state championship game between Doree and what's the coach at uh, Stonebridge? Uh Mickey. Mickey. You mean like a press yeah, conference? Or, yeah, the press know. conference. Yeah, he said something. Like, you what know, was that all about? But, you know, we don't like them people. I mean, I, I know I don't I don't like Stonebridge. Um, I have no respect for their program. Uh, I don't, Just for the record, I don't, I don't, I don't like, like them neither, but I, I do like respect them. the you know program. I don't. I, I don't have no respect for those guys. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, when, when you hit a battle and you are competing with someone, right, mm-hmm. you know, after the game, you beat me, fair and square, hey, coach, good game. And then I go on my way. Mm-hmm. So... In 2021, we uh, they they uh, they beat us in a Hail Mary pass, and uh, you know, Coach Three had said, "Hey man, hey Mickey, you know, good game," and he told he told Three, "F him," you know what I'm saying? Like for me, that would have did something to me, you know, because as a man, you beat me fair and square. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a good game. We ain't got to hug and kiss, but I'm gonna take a game and be on my way. We ain't got we ain't got to you know say that long, but right. for, for a man to humble himself. His, his kids lost, and you say F him to his face, that's crazy to me. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And Doree never forgot, he never forgot that feeling. Like, that, him doing it to him in person, you know what I'm saying? And so, fast forward uh, this this season, on a podcast, like we're doing right now, a podcast, um, Mickey had said that basically he didn't think we were a good team. Oh yeah, I saw that. He said that. Oh, I thought Freedom, Freedom was a better team. Like more is not that more is not that great. You know, we, can, we if we do our game plan, we we can beat this team. Now any coach would feel that way. I, I understand, but for you to say you wasn't a good team, that said you don't think much of us, right? At, at, no, whatever. So, you know, our head coach, he he, you know, he's a competitor. He took it personal. You know, so that whole week. Now he didn't do the or out the ordinary, but you could tell that he was out to prove a point that you tried my program. It's funny saying that we're not that good. Like he gave everybody praise but us. We played uh Quincy Orchard, we played, you know, freedom play, and he kinda downplayed playing us. Mm-hmm. Like basically saying, like, hey, we play way better teams than Maury. Mm-hmm. And we do our game plan, we'll knock them off right now. Like y'all, y'all ain't worth it, y'all ain't worth, worth, worth our time to really, you know, go back and forth with y'all. Wow. So we kind of took it as a thing, like, hey, you know, Mickey, that's like that. <laughs> you feel me? It's like that, me. <laughs> so, so coach took it real personal, you know what I'm saying, and got in his bag. And you saw what happened. He went at him. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah, he tried to, he tried to I embarrass loved him. It. Shout out to Coach McGain again, <laughs> He tried man. to embarrass him. I appreciate that. I like the It was one of them things. And then even, even the pregame, like, we, we all know the, the more, the more, uh, Stonebridge, you know, kind of thing has been a thing for the last four, four or five years going on. Mm-hmm. It would be the one year came and beat us back, and we came back and beat them. Mm-hmm. And even time, like you could tell, like there's no love lost between two. Pro- there's no love lost between. Them. Like ain't right. no kumbaya, ain't no shaking hands. Like last year, time we played them, we didn't shake hands with them, as you saw. <laughs> you know, it's, it's no, it's no shaking hands with that team. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't care for us, we don't care for them, and that's okay. You know what I'm saying? But. That's what it is. No, no. I, like I said, it, this is good stuff, man. You know, and speaking of that situation, which is kind of my, going into my next question anyway, when he said you guys want better than freedom. Well, freedom is no more. 
Of course, now they moved on to Hayfield, which Hayfield about forty. Well, Hayfield about forty shout now, out boy, man. Yeah, shout out to those guys, man. You know, um, do you think we will ever see a Maury versus Hayfield? Oh, which is pretty much well. I I a don't coach Overton versus. You know, Coach McCain. I, I don't. I, I don't see it happening. Just being real, I, I don't see it being a thing. Um, I don't. I don't see it being a thing. Um, right now, I don't. I don't, I don't see it happening. Um, Cause we would have no point of playing Hayfield. You know, we, we would have no point of playing Hayfield. Honestly, you know mm. what I'm saying. And let's say, let's say they go out there and win a state title this year in six A. Then maybe next year we we're like, you know, say, oh, let's play those guys. You know what I'm saying. But right now. He, he know, you know, they got to build it up back to the point where he had freedom. They did a great job of freedom. They did a great job of freedom, man. I thought mm-hmm. they did a great job. And um and now he feels like another, another, another kind of tough task. The teammate has been that great. You know, but like, we all know coaching can give you five wins. It's just being, being coached well. Right. So, um but yeah, I, I don't see it being uh, a thing to probably next next year or two. Hmm. Well, you know, I got to ask the question. <laughs> if y'all would have played, if anybody, if y'all would have played Freedom last year, who wins? Me personally, after watching, so when we state game, we're about preparing for the game, and we're watching the, the game, you know, on TV before we blow the bus up, and we're watching the game, and um, I could see that the second half, Freedom got tired, and you saw because how the Spurs scored, boom, boom, because they were tired. You saw the DBs kind of get a little weary because they were playing both sides of the ball. Mm-hmm. Now I'm not saying that, you know, it, it, I'm not saying that the game was over, but I feel like that played a factor. Now with us, we had receivers and DBs played one side of the ball. Mm-hmm. So I felt like we would have been able to, let's say we, we got we responded with 21 points like how the Springs did. Mm-hmm. The way I saw Springs come back, I know we could do the same thing. Mm-hmm. But we would have we would have probably been able to capitalize on something that Spark Springs did have that they should have capitalized on. Mm-hmm. I think we would have beat them. Honestly, in the close game. Same type of fashion, right. probably 28 21 or 35 28. But I think that our depth of guy doing that last year team would have got us. You saw, DBs got real tired. You saw him get tired. Yeah, and that's what a couple <laughs> people was asking me. I said, They was tired. I saw y'all playing Dinwiddie. Yeah. And I remember Dinwiddie was up on y'all 21 19. Yeah. At Dinwiddie. And I remember one of your coaches, a short guy, I don't know who his name, but he said, We got this. He's a watch. We're going to score on every possession in the second half. And we in BT from Freedom. Shout out to BT. We were standing on the sideline. Yeah. And I said, and again, her daughter was doing her daughter shit. He was. So I said, okay. Second half, y'all came out. Boom, 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 boom. I said, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> so and 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 that and, and that was and it, I'm gonna tell you, if you if you never play at Den Witty, you don't know how it feels to be playing at Den Witty. It's kind of a uneasy feeling playing at Den Witty. You know what I'm saying? And I know our kids will kind of be, you know, you know, kind of like oh, new territory, you know, new, you know, environment, whatever. And at that game, you saw the first play of the game, they came out and you know they had to play for us. You know, <laughs> they came out early, striking. They, they came out. I mean, first play of the game. First play of the game. They came I out. I was like, oh, they ain't playing. They ain't playing no game. And you got to line up for number six and number five. Yeah. That number five, Tucker, boy. He was tough. Oh, my oh. God. Yeah, uh, and I watched the Dinwiddie. I respect that program, man. They, they really coach. They coach up what they have. And I can tell they do a great Shout job. Shout out to Billy Mills, yes, too, man. man. I love his. I watched his video on YouTube, man. I, I love his pregame speeches. Like, one time I'm watching before he played us. I watched on YouTube, right? Give him pregame speech. And I I got hyped watching him talk to those kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to pick a guy like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, um, everybody have a great, great program over there. I mean, I think that uh, the kid, uh, Harry Dalton, man, is a is an absolute monster. When I tell you he's a he's a guy, like, he runs tough. He understands he's a guy, though. He's trying to run through you. He just has the ability to make you miss in space. And he's a tough runner, though. He's a tough kid. I'm like, man, yo, we got to stop this kid. So, and you notice, know second half me and my staff, we got the guy said, look, man, guys. So, we kind of talked about it. Like, we got to stop this kid. So, man, so we got together, kind of drew some things up with how we want to stop him. I said, look, man, if we're going to lose, he ain't going to do it. <laughs> Let the other guy do it around us. I said, look, we got to be able to stop him. Mm-hmm. Like, ain't, ain't no bombs and be our guys one-on-one. I will be okay with the game if this guy does that. Right. But we got to stop him being running the ball right yeah. now. Because <laughs> he was he getting busy. You know he what I'm saying? Truth, so, man. we locked in on him. You know, we kind of, you know, we, we, we hit him a couple times. So you know, he finished he fin- the game. We hit him a couple times and got after him a little bit. But um, they have a good program, man. I, I love what they do over there, doing with it. Well, that's good, man. Well, since you love what they do, <laughs> leads me to my next question. 
since you got the ball back from Howland Springs. Oh, man. And, you know, shout out to my guys. I love my guys over there. But something, when you told me something, I kind of like, hmm, like, why don't you like Coach Johnson, man? Um, Coach Lauren Johnson. I think it's more so for me. Um, I don't, I don't care for him. I want someone like I don't, okay. I don't care. Okay, I don't care for me. him. And what I will say, I mean, I, I'm sure he don't care. I mean, I'm gonna say, I just don't. You know, my thing is, um, you one, know how I feel about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for that's sure, my yeah. guy. I, I understand that, but I just feel like we we had an encounter one time a couple years ago where. Um, it was on Twitter where it was saying where the, the program is dominant or whatever, right? And okay. I, and I had said, hey, if we can get some of the best kids in that area, we'll be dominant too. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And um, you know, I kind of said it, and he felt like I was taking a shot at his program, which I was. I was just saying that they have a, a couple of kids that we can't, no, not, and we can't get get a get. You know what I'm saying? And why it's successful. And so that summer, I went to uh, it was like doing. I think, COVID, I want to say. It was a 7-on-7 seven -seven tournament in, in um, Richmond. And I came up there. He pulled to the side, him and the staff, and he kind of explained to me what I was doing. Like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, I don't think you should have said that because, you know, as, as a black man and what, where I coach at, you know, you know, we can't, you know, we shouldn't be turning out other black coaches. And I understood that. I said, coach, in my mind, like, you're right. You know, I, I shouldn't have said that because you do a great job as a coach. I you know that. But he kind of said, hey, as being black men, we, we can't, you know, do that to each other. So I, I respected that. I said, Coach, you got me a good point, and I understood where he's coming from. Mm -hmm. So, fast forward to the COVID year, we played in the sixth final game at, at Maury, mm -hmm. um, and they beat us. Now, mind you, me being me, pregame, I'm talking trash. I'm like, yo, they who they used to be, we ready to go. We will not, we will not knock them off. You know, and I, and I felt that way. I thought that we were, I thought that we closed the gap player wise. I thought that player pound for pound, that we, we could play with them. And I think that we finally have. The trenches to play with them, you know what I'm saying? And I felt confident about it. So I'm pre game warm. I'm talking. I'm talking trash. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm doing. doing I'm being pre. I'm, I'm locked in. I'm ready to go. You heard me. So he hard heard me talking. You know what I'm saying? And what he's supposed to. I, I'm tough for you to hear me. I'm not here for you to be quiet. I want you to hear me talking to you. You know what I'm saying? So they beat us 13-0. Um, so after the game, you know, I want to shake his hand. You know, once again, I told you, I'm gonna talk my trash. You beat me fast square. I want to shake your hand, man. Hey, good game, coach. You did a great job. Good job. Man said, I ain't shaking your hand. Went like that. What? Like for, <laughs> for me, oh. for me, I took that very personal though. I took it very personal. Like, I felt like I thought he was trying me, bro. Like, I felt like he, I said, because after all that being said, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna still say congrats because you beat me fair and square. Right. But for you to say his exact words, words, I ain't shaking your hand. That's what he said to me. Oh, wow. And I tell you, like, I felt so small. You feel like, damn, but I mean, that man just tried me, bro. He just tried me for my faith, for my, my people. So from then on, it's been on. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I'm like, damn, but he, he really, he really did something to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't care how much, I'm going to shake your hand. You know what I'm saying? Because what we supposed to do, whatever. You know, it's puppet shit, whatever. So from then on, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? I felt like even, even this year, we played him this year, and after the game, they had a conversation. Yeah, I was there. I and was I, there. I told the real, I was like, bro, it's you should talk to this man about no call. He, he know what he did. You know, we, we got to have a, a kumbaya moment, talk to this man, ask him, he know what he did. Like, what we talking about? I said, yeah. oh, I went over here. Like, yo, I ain't talking, I ain't talking to buddy about nothing. Yeah, it was and a heated exchange. You know, for no, but it didn't need to be. Dude did what he did. He felt he did, he did for, for a reason. He didn't get a film. Yeah, because Jaree didn't, see, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Why are we talking? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so you're saying that he didn't give the film up. So he felt like, I guess he would have felt like we were behind his back or whatever, got a film from somebody, from the, the team that gave us the film okay. and not wait for him to, for him to us to give the film. Right. Because they, they would have been playing, they would have been our second game, their third game. Right. So we went and got the Miramar film, you know, for whatever, for, for, for them, and they gave it to us. Right. So we, had, so we already had it, you know what right. I'm saying? So I guess he felt like that's kind of a, a cheap move Getting some more film, you know, let, let us get so you and that you give somebody else. But it's no rule said we can't do that though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So we played Manchester. He didn't give us a man. He, he, he didn't give us a film because of the fact that they've been there. It's our first game, it's been our third game. Right. But still. And it was their second yeah. game. So it still, and that was still be, gave, us a, gave us a message because that's your, it's your second game to our first. Mm -hmm. But he didn't give it to us. You know what I'm saying? We all know that they, they, didn't, play, they didn't play as well, that Manchester game or whatever. Yeah. Um, but in the same token, I felt like 
We should have went to them to talk about that situation. It should have been no comment. We should have talked to him. We won the game. He gets filmed. He did what he did. Let's move on. You know. And so, to repurposely, you think that to repurposely didn't shake his hand? You know. Oh, they didn't shake hands. Well, I guess I, I didn't see that. I, I guess the wanna... part what I saw was they was coming to pass, and Dere. I guess he was kind of hype. He was kind of. I don't know what happened, but whatever happened, Coach Johnson didn't like it. Mm-hmm. So I guess he went back to address. I guess why they didn't talk or maybe they didn't shake hand. Yeah. I, I'm assuming that Dere didn't shake his hand. I, I wasn't shake his hand either. But what are we talking about? And. <laughs> He Coach Johnson had came back around to try to say, hey, what was going on? And I'm glad that we as men, everybody was around. Yeah, it was around. And everybody, it, it was cool that heads prevailed. But I guess then y'all was able to discuss yeah, why it, it didn't happen. What well, happened? It should, it should, it, and, and, and my thing is, I want to shake his hand either. I want to shake his hand. Because you did something that you knew was wrong and you felt like, you know, it, it wasn't right. Mm. So why would you tell me? Oh, I'm on Saturday. Check your hand. Like you, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't give me the film. Like that, that's, that's like, that's like you know unwritten rules. You know, you share the films we had, whatever, and we call it whatever. Mm. You know, and I just felt like if you know you did, did, did me kind of wrong, why should I shake your hand? Do you think it was personal that he didn't exchange the film? Well, let me ask you a question. Did y'all have any other issues with any other teams at any point? Not exchanging the film, <laughs> or you just felt like it was just the <laughs> Springs Mori. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm asking because I'm just trying to play devil's advocate. Yeah, we we rarely, you know, we got it's always the issue with T1 trade film. Where we, it's always an issue, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's not as easy as you may think it is getting film other team when you about to play them. And but was, this one was kind of personal. Yeah, I, this, this Springs. Cause was, I think the respect, Dre had, had respect for, for Lauren. I think that's why he had a lot of respect for him. You know, I think right. they, 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 you know, whatever. I think that's why it was more personal than anything that, you know, you get a film up because of how you felt. Right. The rule, the rule was kind of unwritten rule. Like, get the film and we exchange. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But, you know, at, you know, that's a situation that, you know, I didn't want to be involved in. I felt like, why are we talking to him for? Like, why are we talking to him? He did what he did. Let's move on. Like, you need to talk to this man. You know what I'm saying? Because cause it was f- reversed. I'm pretty sure he felt the same way the Reef felt. You know what I'm Good saying? Good point. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty Good sure he would have. Good point. So, it is what it is, man. Well, you guys got a date against them September 15th, 2024. And I can't wait. You come up here to the Springs. I can't wait. And Harry Lee said he is not putting AC he better. in the visitor's locker. He better. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make sure I call the, the, the state and say, hey, Harry Lee, <laughs> why can't give me AC in my locker room? My kid's going to pass out. Yeah, you know. If that's, you abusive, do, that's harassment. It's my kids. Well, if you do that, you know he's not going <laughs> to let you end the game. That is unfair. <laughs> He said he's not. My kid will be hot. It's going to pass out. What, what, that, what, shit, then where did y'all be outside? <laughs> it was hot. It was, it was hot. They got, a brand, they got a brand new school. So why we can't get the AC here? <laughs> the visitors, you know the visitors like I'm supposed to be uncomfortable. But still, man, there's going to be AC in there. <laughs> They're not going to make it comfortable. That is bad, Harry. Shame on him, man. Shout out to Harry Lee. That's my guy. Man. Make like it uncomfortable Harry. for them, Harry Lee. <laughs> That's crazy, Harry. You shame yourself, man. Man, you know. <laughs> but no, shout out, man. You know, we, we love that. You know, I'm going down. Lake Taylor. Mm-hmm. What does Lake Taylor mean to you? Oh, man. That's my school, man. That's, 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 that's my that's my program. Can uh, you see yourself whenever this the every day and we're not pushing Coach Sawyer out the door? Nah, nah. Do you ever see yourself ever coaching that's, there? That's the goal. That's always been the goal. That, that's my program. I helped build that program. You know what I'm saying? Like my my team was the first team to get Coach Sawyer's first playoff win. Um, you know, first we got two. You know, then went on from there. So I I I, I know what it feel like to be a late to the I know like the sweat and tears that was put in that program. I know what it's built upon. I know what that program is stacked upon. You know, mm-hmm. toughness, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You know, and I would love to be the head coach of that program because I sat in them same lockers. I sat in those, I did those same Saturday uh, uh, hitting drills, you know what I'm saying? Playing that same field. Even out to the coach, when, when we play there, I stick a little emotional. You know what I'm saying? Because that field, that's my field. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I, I have, like, that field, like, when teams came there, when I played, the rule was, my, what, our, what, our, what our games are, when you play at home, you don't lose no games at home. That was a stigma of late. So that was, you don't lose no games at home. And I was a freshman, that was in our heads, like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is our home field. You don't lose at home. 
You know, dude has said, hey, man, we play home games. Ain't your mom's there? Ain't your dad there? Sister there? Mm-hmm. It's, it's our house. And when the person come in, ain't your house trying to rob you. What you going to do? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is our house. So I was a freshman hearing that from the upperclassmen. So when it was my turn to be an upperclassman, I carried the same tradition. Like, yo, we don't lose at home. Mm-hmm. So just that program, I, I I just know what it's like, man. Put on that, put on that back in red, man, and and, and hand the coaches that we have a thing where uh, we go out as groups. You know what I'm saying? And one thing we always say when Coach Floyd say first group twenty mm-hmm. minutes, so we do right there. It's time to go. It's just like, what you got going on with your life right now? Yo, now it's time to go to the field and ready to go. So I would love it, man. It would mean a lot to me. Um, to be there one day, you know, take coach take his time. You know what I'm saying? He, he's a legend. Um, he taught me a lot of stuff, man. He's a, he's a great coach, a great mentor, a great father figure. Um, and, um, you know, he's ready to leave out. I'm pretty sure he will. And hopefully the timing will be good and I can just go ahead and, you know, apply for that thing. So Okay. So you so so basically, so we know Priv, <laughs> as a defensive coordinator, Maury, he wants to soon one day be a head coach of a program. Um, at first I didn't want to. Um, because I just know what it comes with, and I know that I'm a football coach. I, I, want, I love college football, but the other stuff, I'm a little younger. I'm like, man, I really want to do that because it don't seem – so it don't seem fun being a head coach. You know what I'm saying? It, it don't seem like you're having fun because admin, the, the whole team itself, like you got you really can't coach because you're worried about other things about your program. Mm. And most – well, most head coaches aren't coordinators. You just kind of foreseeing everything. And I'm like, I love calling plays. I love preparing for games. I love film watching. And I'm like, as a head coach, like, will I still have that type of involvement with my own team? Mm. Like, will I still be able to enjoy watching film or and, and enjoy, you know, just all the things about being a coordinator or being a part of the team involves? As I worry about Monday, I got to answer eight, eight emails, my kids in class and talking. You know what I'm saying? Or I got to uh, uh, be here and be there. I'm missing practice time. I like being at practice. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think it, it don't seem fun mm-hmm. because all the other things you got to worry about being a head coach. I like, you know, but now I'm a little older and I am I think I can handle being that guy. But what I, I know also is people around you. You know, why was it the Reed did, did a great job yes. of making the staff? He, he has built one hell of a staff, man. And I think everybody know their roles on the staff. I think everybody understands their role on the staff. And he allows you. And, you know what I'm saying? And what I will say is this, though. Don't, don't get confused now. Okay, okay. When you, when you fuck up now, he on your ass now. Because okay, he's so quiet and reserved. Quiet! I mean, he just, I don't know Coach, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he just seems so reserved and so focused and so determined. But Don't let him fool you. I, wait, wait, wait. He's fooling me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But but he still allows you to be you. Yes, he does. He doesn't seem no. like, because you still being you. Yeah. So I'm like, but he he, I think that he has a, a way of kind of challenging us coaches though. Okay, like, I want people to understand that he demands a certain a certain standard of coaching on our staff, and it goes for everybody. And he does like, an outstanding yeah, job from what we see. Crazy, man. he does a great job, and he holds to a standard to where we all understand that the, the, the goal at hand. Like you know, what I'm saying if your, if your group is not doing well, you gonna know about it. But hey, they ain't playing well. You know what I'm saying? And I have watched him build the staff and his team, and one day I get my head coaching job, I'm going to keep the same model. Cause I've learned from him so much from him for what he does with mm-hmm. the program. Why would I not do the same thing? It's my, my, my own program. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I've learned so much from from from, from practice time to discuss your that of being detailed, what we're doing from thing, thing to thing. It's just a real – it showed me a lot of, of how to be a head coach. You know what I'm saying? How you conduct yourself, um, how to do certain things. And, he, and, and I feel like that's going to help me out in the long run. You know what I'm saying? So, and you know what I'm saying? I want to say you got Sawyer, Coach Sawyer, Coach McCain. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got a great group, diverse coaches over there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it, it's, been a, it's been a great time. It's been a great time, a great experience um, coaching at Moore. You know, even though my, my people, they tell us, call me a traitor a lot. How you coach at Moore? You know, see, so when I was in school, though, we, they were kind of our rivals. Like, basically, they're, they're not our true rivals, but that's kind of like it got to, because Moore, Moore has always been a solid program, though. Right. So, you know, um, all the athletes, you know what I'm saying, all could, could play with us, you know what I'm saying? So the time I was school, it kind of was back and forth. Like, you know, they beat us one year, we came back beat them, you know, so it was kind of a, a thing. So the kids I played with, like, man, how you coach at Moore? Man, you feel like tell them, man, you a traitor. Like, no, nah, you, <laughs> like, you know, why you coach at Moore, man? You know what right. I'm saying? So uh, it's one of those things that I do all the time. Yeah, so with, if you ever get run a program, 
me and you the most hated, <laughs> <laughs> are you still going to be as outspoken? No. Uh, but I know that, though. I, I know as a head coach, I won't be able to be as I am now. You know, I'm, I'm, right now I'm an assistant. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I know that I got a little more leeway to be how I want to be. You know what I'm saying? Well, but I know the head coach is frowned upon. You know, and I want to like downplay my pro of how I act. So as a head coach, I wouldn't be as vocal. I wouldn't be as on social media as much as I, as I am now. Because mm. I, I understand the business. I understand the business. You know, you can't do that. Yeah, but you're very you know? interesting. Though. Yeah, <laughs> but I understand that. I want my, I want my, my program so because of me. You know what I'm Everybody saying? wants to go sign on because we want to hear what Pri. Yeah. Goes so as a head coach, I feel like I don't have that. I can't do that. I won't be able to do that type of thing as a head coach. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So There's a little difference. You know what I'm saying? So, so well, we was talking about coaching is a hobby. Mm-hmm. Talk about that, man, because you emphasize about the things that you can and can't do, and you guys, y'all do volunteer work. Yeah. So yes, yeah, go into that because. I think a lot of coaches want to keep. They agree with what you're saying. Yeah, I, I, say it. yeah. I feel like as a coach, you know, you get a lot of a lot of uh, people saying you can't do this, you can't say this, you can't do that. And I'm like, I'm still a human being. I coach football as a hobby. It's my hobby. Mm-hmm. I, I coach because I, I love coaching. Mm-hmm. That should let me be as a human. Like I still got pains on stuff. I still can, can comment on stuff there, but you can't do because you're a coach. You coach kids. But okay, cool. I coach kids. That don't mean I can't still engage in other things. Right. You know what I'm saying? I understand my hobby is coaching. I get all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you shouldn't hold me to a standard where I can't say I want to say because I coach kids. You know? Like, you can't do this because you coach, you're a coach. What? BS. BS. I have a hard time, you know, around I feel like you're trying to put me in a box because I coach kids. I love doing that. <laughs> I don't mind coaching kids, mm. but they don't pay my bills. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't get paid. I'm to, to coach that, you know, whatever, do what I do, the hours I spent here, to tell me I can't comment on Facebook or I can't make a, a, a Facebook post. I'm still a human being. I'm a grown man. Right. Now, if I coach at college football, I will understand. You know what I'm saying? Well, this is high school football. <laughs> I can still put my opinion about how I feel about things as a coach. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's my thing about it. You can't put me in a, a box where... I coach high school that I can't say certain things. I can say what I want to say. <laughs> like it's my hobby, not my not my not my not my occupation. Mm-hmm. They don't pay me enough money to say I, I can't talk. Right. You know. I, I mean, I'll tell you. From what August to November, you get paid four thousand dollars. That's it. Right. And that money goes to kids who want a coach. I need cook out coach. I need a haircut. That money right. go to them. Right. You, exactly. I don't spend that money on myself. That stuff don't get talked about. It don't. Okay, hey, Kobe, we need new all uh, new shirts, coach, warm up shirts. Okay, I pay the like, ten dollars made. You know, that's, that's two twenty right there. Okay, a, a, a check gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What are we talking about here? So I feel like coaches should get a little more leeway to be able to express certain things they want to express. Mm. You know, either their social media or whatever they want to say. We shouldn't be putting in a box that we can't be humans anymore. Could we crash? Right. That's all I want to say. Because nowadays, you know, these kids are on social media. Yeah. We in a different day and time. Now, we ain't saying you got to be out there calling somebody out their name. Yeah. But you should be able to allow you to express yourself. Yeah. The way you do it. And, honest, and still hold, you know, still got to be decent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. And, and, and then we all, I, I, I will always say, I think social media is also taking out proportion. I don't care what nobody say. It is taking way out of proportion. Oh, yeah. Like, people are turning to the VHSL. They're turning to the to, 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 to the, the city. You're coaching. That this guy is, is saying this. Like, I just don't, I feel like it's just taking out proportion. If we have a discussion or a debate about something, it might get a little heated. It, it might get a little, you know, a little bit of, you know, whatever. Right. But. And you can't really tell the tone. <laughs> yeah, tell, you I tell can. People, I tell people call me because the tone of a message can be misinterpreted. For sure. Versus you calling me because you could tell me this, but if you put it in the tone, he sounded kind. Of, I ain't meaning like that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So and then, and they will turn to oh, and this is bad. Coach says to another coach. I'm like, it's a thing where it's entertainment. Okay, it's there for a reason. Mm. And we all know why I got so big on social media. It's a way to connect everybody, but also it's entertainment. You know what I'm saying? And people want to put you in a boat and say, oh, you can't en- engage in social media activity because you're a coach. That's not fair to me. Or anybody else who, who want to engage in, in social media, media activities. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I find it's, it's, it's taking away a proportion 
um, it, it, it's taken too seriously, in my personal opinion. You right. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, but if I had known you, got to know you. Like, if I hadn't known you, you a jokester. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Entertainment. So it's just pure entertainment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's probably why you're the most hated. It's 757. Hey, man, that's crazy. Hey, I, I'll take that, man. But it's, it's entertainment. People, should, <laughs> people shouldn't be all in their panty bunches because we don't want me to talk about things that, you know, it's a little bit. You know, it might get a little, you know, about AOT team sorry or whatever. That's, that's just trash that we're all talking. Right. And then that's the thing about it. People in the 757, they know for trash talk. Yeah, that's all we do. It's okay. Like, like they talk more trash. It's I a stigma. Remember. I remember back in the <laughs> in the in the early 2010s when Norcom basketball oh, was running. Really good, yeah, yeah. Man, who else? It, 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 it's it's 75, 17, Hampton come up there. I remember they come in there, no come. Like yeah, they, they come always. in there like I get crazy and saying <laughs> all this stuff. And I'm like, y'all can say what y'all wanna say and do what y'all wanna do, but now like it says on social media and you typing it yeah. versus versus verbalizing. Yeah. It. It's like like, come on, man, that's all we're doing. It's just having fun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But do, like, your administration at Maury, do they kind of, like, say something to y'all about it? Yeah, for me, I, I, I know I've been off as a time. <laughs> um, I, would, I have, you know, uh, the AD, the head coach, the principal, um, they always, you know, kind of always kind of put the A, a priv. You got to stop this, you got to stop that. But what I will say is they have backed me, too. They have kind of, you know, let me be myself, but I hate to say prayer, you got to tone this down, you can't do, you can't say this. The principal, she, she's a great principal, she's kind of, she's a sports person. The AD is, is very heavily involved in the program, so they kind of let me be myself, but when they get a little bit too much, they come and say, hey, you got to stop this. You know, you can't, yeah. you can't do that. <laughs> I remember when you said, like, when you had got suspended for a half. But I, I thought, bro, I'm going to tell you something, I got, I felt like a kid, I felt like a kid in high school all over again. <laughs> I had to go to the principal, I had to go to the office, right? She said, hey, a hey, hey, uh, privilege can you come to the office for practice? I said, okay. Now the principal can call you now. Ain't no, no, whatever. You know it ain't. You know it ain't good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know oh, man. I go in the office, but I felt, I felt so small. I felt like a little kid, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, sitting, I'm, sitting in, I'm sitting in the chair. She's, she's, she's across from me, right? And she's like, she said, she said, privilege, you know, the AD from Ward uh, sent a memo out to everybody about, you know, your actions in the pregame warm or whatever. And in my mind, I was like, yeah, I was kind of wild. I was tripping. Mm-hmm. But she said, now, Michael, she said, Michael, <laughs> she said, we can't defend this, okay? I'm like, what you mean? <laughs> so I didn't know that AD, he was recording me. Oh, really? And I was talking big, I was talking crazy, you heard me. I was like, greasy the buddy. I just said all types of F bombs and I was going at buddy hard. So she was like, Michael, she said, I can't defend this now. Like, you're, you're, you're over the top with this. Like, it's like, the dude got a whole video of me just going crazy, oh, oh buddy. I'm like, you're right. <laughs> I, said, I, I, I so, can't do that. Yeah, he was like, you know what? <laughs> so she's like, Michael. Like she said, hey, I mean, tell us, like, what should we do with you? Should we, like, what should we do? And I was like, man, I don't even know. I'm sitting there like, I'm like a kid. Like, I'm like, man, I don't know. She was like, I mean, but Michael, we, we gotta do something. We can let, let let this slide. It got got you on video. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And I was like, yeah, Miss Bird. You know, so I said, yeah, you know, uh, just. Do you feel this right? You know what I'm saying? I had to take that, I had to take it. You know what I'm saying? Like, man. You took one for the team. You know what I'm saying? She was like, you know, but she was, she was, you know, she said, hey, we got to, you know, we got to, you know, recommend you for, you know, for doing what you did. And, and, I, and I understood that, you know, I do recording me. But now Bryce is telling me that, mind you, I'm so, me, once I'm there, I ain't coming back down. I'm, I'm there. I'm locked in on mm-hmm. what I'm doing. And Bryce is telling me, hey, Priv, dude, recording you. And I like, F dude, like you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, in my I mind, it didn't, it didn't dawn me who was trying yeah. to tell me at the time. So I'm still going that button. Dude, just sitting there the whole court me the whole time, back and forth. I'm like, so when the dude, <laughs> when dude had showed the video, I saw that's what I said, wow. I was they really had it, they had it off, and that was the war game. The war game. I mean, coach, I was talking big. <laughs> I'm calling buddy all types of F. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, because y'all was on social media. Y'all yeah, was going back and forth. So when I seen buddy, now mind you, he said I was harassing him. Now mind you, I was harassing him because. <laughs> So that's why I look at you. Right <laughs> like, I was harassing. I ain't gonna lie. So as he's walking, like you know, for the yard lines, he walked. I walked. He walked. I walked. I was, I was, I was, I was I'm fucking. Yeah, because he kept saying that. And I, I was, was fucking like, with him. I'm like, if you know Priv and me, 
I'm just new in the football side. Hard. <laughs> and I was like, Phil, Fresh and Priv always stand on the 50 yard line. I always on the 50 yard like, line. Like the gang, you would stand like, like I didn't even want to bother with y'all playing the Springs. Yeah. And you were just like focusing. It was just oh, like, on the 50. It was just like, you were just looking. And then you was like, they don't look like the Springs. And Thank I, you. You know what I'm saying? I say they don't. They, they ain't ready, coach. Like, they ain't ready. So I'm looking. I said, I ain't messing with this dude. <laughs> they don't, they don't look confident, coach. They it was dropping past the warm up. Oh, it ain't like it ain't, ain't Springs. I'm used to seeing. It, so I'm like, they ain't ready to go. Um, but yeah, so dude was like, uh, so I, whatever he went, I went at back, back and forth. He went to the end. I went to the end. I'm talking the whole time, and dude recorded me the whole time. I'm calling dude B word. I'm calling dude everything. <laughs> like, so <laughs> it was bad. So I had to. She's like, hey, look, you know what? You know, you, you're not allowed. Um, you gotta be allowed on the side on the pregame. You gotta stay in the locker room, right? This is true story. So I was like, man, for me, I start getting the game. Pre-game one, I get my mind right. I see the team, size them up. You know, I kind of see what they got. You know, um, just kind of get my mind, you know what they got. And me, me being in the locker room, right, this is a true story. I felt like a, a kid in detention, bro. I felt so <laughs> powerless. I'm sitting there in the back. Yeah, it's crazy because I talked to you. you. Matter of fact, what game was I at? I was sick. It was a Hollow Springs game. And like, when we were talking, I said, apparently, said, we're pre events. We coach. <laughs> Yo. I was sick, bro. I'm sitting there in the, in the locker room. I'm taking my dad warming up. Nobody in there. So, three, the head coach come in and get his bag or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. He see me in there. He said, hey, boy, you don't punish me. You don't punish me. Hey, you don't punish me. I said, hey, that's not even funny, bro. Like, that's not even funny right now. I'm like, dude. And coach coming in there, making jokes about it. Hey, boy, don't punish me, man. Hey, man, get that boy time out over there. <laughs> like, oh, my God. So, it ain't making no better. You know what I'm saying? So, but it was like, let's learn that, um, you know, I, I can't be too involved where I can't see the wrong doing what I'm doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and, and that part, I do understand. We I do coach kids, and I do uh, understand that I can't act in that manner um, before a game. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But I know me, I'm a competitor. I've mm -hmm. always been that way. Like, I'm a trash talker. And I tell my kids talk trash. I ain't going to lie. Cause I want them to feel confident. I want my kids to understand that you guys bust y'all tails <laughs> Monday through Thursday. So on Friday, I want y'all to be lose. I want y'all to be confident. I want y'all to be able to, especially as we are in the game pregame, to be confident we about to do out there. Mm -hmm. Like my all my team know that when you put that helmet on, the orange helmet, you are expected to win. That's the stand we put in now. Like we put that helmet on, you are expected to win. It's because we have the, the stigma now what, what we are. So, you know, I encourage it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's right, but I want my I want my kids warming up quiet. As a coach, I, if my kids quiet, I'm nervous as mm -hmm. a coach. Cause they ain't talking, they just doing warm ups or whatever. I'm like, my kids ain't engaged in the game. Mm. <laughs> they are they, they, they too quiet for me. So I see the I see the bow, I see the how you gotta do kind of do that with that. So I'll be okay. You know, it, it, it's all good. <laughs> well, you know, coming from you know the head coach, you you'll get the head coach. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I get there one day, we don't understand that situation. And, so. and we know that like I said, you know, my man just walked in, Coach Rick Height. Over at Kings Fork, man. Thank you for coming in, yes, man. We get you in. No program. So you know. <laughs> That number seven five seven guy in the house, but um, but let me ask you this question: Do people in the seven five seven hate Maury, or do they hate you because you coach at Maury? I think hate me more than hate. Me. <laughs> I think I'm the reason why you don't like Maury. That's the reason why I think I'm the reason why we are who we are in the area because of me. Um. But I'm a loud mouth. I, I've always been that way. Like I said, I said numerous times. So they want to be you. They want to be me more so than more. They, they, they don't want to. You know, more is, 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 a, is a school. You know, uh, it's, it's you know, kind of a good school. You know what I'm saying? Like we, I ain't sure code it. Um, but it's me more so than anything else. I think it's me. They want to be me or say, oh, you know, more this and that because of me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm cool. I'm cool. With that. I, I like being a bad guy. I want to tell her. I, I'm cool. I like being a bad guy. I ain't gonna embrace that. Right. I embrace. <laughs> I embrace the bad guy role. You know what I'm saying? But now, now what you understand now when I beat you now, huh? <laughs> I'm going in. I'm going in. I want you to know that. And I'm not gonna take my foot off. So I'm letting you know. I want you right now. I'm on your ass now. So uh, it's okay. It's a, it's a, it's a giving, a giving, a giving uh, take when you're doing that, man. When, when you one thing I will say is that people understand that I can dish it out. I can take it. When someone like to do, I can take that. You know, cause I dish it out. You know what I'm saying? Some guy will get emotional in their feelings. I don't do that when I'm, I'm having a, a debate with somebody or like you know, conflict or whatever, mm -hmm. because I understand what I do. You right, know, I'm a I'm a troller. They call it a trauma troller. Uh, I'm a antagonizer. I understand that, and I love it. I that, love it. <laughs> that's why we had to you come back. I was like, oh my god, I enjoy like, it. Like what you said about Green Run on the podcast. <laughs> oh my god. 
Like, like, did you just say that about Green Run? But I meant, I meant it. I know you did. I meant it. <laughs> like, did you just say that beneath y'all? We are. <laughs> we are a better program than we are. It ain't going to change. Better players, better coaches. We're better than them. Until they beat y'all. They won't beat us. They will never beat y'all. Now, I'm going to tell you something right now. <laughs> as long as we are at Maury, Green will never beat us. <laughs> never. They won't. Because people understand... It's a difference in programs. Mm-hmm. Like they have good players, they have they have good coaches. We have good coaches, we have good players. Mm-hmm. But when you see the two teams play, you see the dynamics of the teams. Mm-hmm. And I feel like they don't play anyone that's going to challenge them in that manner that way how we play. Sucks. It's awful. It's god awful. <laughs> so when they even this year, like, when they play in the River, River is from Chesapeake. It was a different type of game because they're a different team. You know what I'm saying? It's different type of players. And I feel like they don't get enough uh, of challenges during the season to when they play uh, us or any river. Because they're restricted. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. High, they, they, they can't play other teams. Because like it was a rumor that when I talked, and maybe you shouldn't tell me this, but Hollis Springs would want to play Green Run. Yeah, they probably would have. And they were waiting to open up the schedule. Yeah, but they can. Be. But they can't because they're so handcuffed. Yeah. Same mm-hmm. thing with Phoebus. Phoebus yeah. is handcuffed. Same thing. But they will have that one game. That one game, yeah. Which is usually against Smith. Which brings me to this question. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with the Maury Smith thing, man? Why we can't see that? It will never happen. Why? It, it's it's been too much. You know, now me personally, um, it's not my team. You know what I'm saying? If I was the head coach, I would play, I would play Smith. Just to prove the point of we're better than you. But personal wise, I will understand why our head coach won't play them because of all the tarnishment their head coach had to do to our, our own program. You know what I'm saying? He tried to destroy our program twice. Not not just once, but twice. Oh, wow. You know what I'm the saying? The current coach is here. Yeah, the head coach now. You know what I'm saying? And I think that our head coach, uh, not gonna let it go because you tried to really kill our program. You know, you tried to kill it by false accusations of, of our of our of our, of our program. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I just like it's be more personal than football if, if we play right now to those two coaches. Mm. Now, if a head coach uh, they say he resigns, got come in, then we'll, 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 we'll play Smith. But as long as he's the head coach, at, oh, at, see, at I Smith. didn't know it was. The yeah, game. so as long as he's the head coach, we won't ever play ever play Smith. Well, good thing they in six. Yeah, then we are in six. Well, so, <laughs> but I would I would love the game because the atmosphere that it would, it would create for our area. See, and that's the thing that people have to concentrate on now. Yeah. It's the, about those ticket sales, man, yeah. in the high school sports. Yeah. And we're so used to the best playing the best. Yeah. That's why 757 has always been self. They've been the best. Yeah. Because you beat the best. Now, I don't want to play them. I don't want to play. Mm-hmm. It's all these other restrictions of why you can't play. Blah, 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 yeah. blah, 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 blah. Oh, my God, if you stand it. Yeah. So, so you're on record saying we will never see it, right? We won't, we won't see it as long as uh, he's head coach at Smith. We'll never, we'll never play Smith. Now, a guy come in, he resigns, or whatever. I come in, we'll play him. Not even as a scrimmage. Not even a scrimmage. We won't play him. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? But at, at, at this point, there's no point of playing them. Right. I mean, they're, they're, they're not the top. They're not top of the crop. Well, I heard they be back this year. Now, I still be be determined. Oh. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, so you're saying on record that y'all beat them. Oh yeah, we, we would never <laughs> smash Smith, man. Like, come on, it wouldn't even be a contest, man. It would be, it would be over before it started. I'm just being real. Like, they don't. And what made them so good in the previous year, even they went in one state, the, the, the two years they were the 2019 there. team. That team, that front four was crazy. No, the 2020 team. That team was amazing. Oh my god, it was crazy. Like their front four was amazing. You so know what I'm they don't have no guys anymore up front. So imagine y'all this year's team, which mm-hmm. is amazing that y'all had. Playing that 2020 team. I like to do the hypotheticals. Who wins and why? That's tough. That's, that's a tough one. I I, I don't I, I think that, that 2020 that, team. Uh, that, that front four, that front four was uh, was crazy. I, I don't know if we would have could have handled the front four, but I, I know the read and all of the staff, we would have made adjustments to, to counter that. Um so uh, that's kind of tough. Okay. I, I yeah. I like your honesty. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie about that one. I think that, that front four would give a lot of problems. Um, and in our run game, uh, and we kind of made us kind of had, you know packed on the ball wide. But we would have we would took them deep. Now we we, we would have took them deep because we we kind of knew that they were a certain type of team. We got you know, but that front four won't play. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they had some guys that front four, man. So, but as you saw, when those guys left the last two years. They don't have they're not the same because. 
they don't have no guys in the, guys in the trenches anymore. They're not as strong right. in, the, in, in the trenches as they once were in the past. Yeah. Like why they're not as strong right now as they once were. Mm. Well, I know I want to talk to you about recruiting and the word recruiting is recruiting or however you want to say it. <laughs> but one thing, me and you talk, and you don't get enough credit where a lot of kids want to come play for you. Mm -hmm. But they don't hear about the kids that you sent to other schools mm -hmm. to help them out. Oh, yeah. Like, you you know, talk about a couple of kids that you sent that was really good mm -hmm. that you sent to other schools instead of having them come to Maury. Yeah, because I, I don't, me personally, I believe that I don't want to lie to a kid. Mm -hmm. If a kid said, hey, man, hey, coach, man, I want to come play for Maury. And, you know, and, and I know that we have a player like him on our team. I know he won't probably play as much. Even though he's good. Good. You know what I'm saying? You know, I say, you know what, man, you might want to, you know, go somewhere else. But I, don't, I, I kind of know that, hey, this is why, you know, I, I don't want you to come to Maury because I feel like you won't be, you know, what you are now. If you're a starter coming to Maury to be a backup, that's kind of crazy to me. Mm. Especially you're a senior. You know what I'm saying? Like, go go here because you might, you know, or stay at school because you are a guy. You came here, you might play, you know, somewhat. Cause I got two other guys that's kind of the same person you are. Mm -hmm. So I don't want a kid to say, oh, Coach Pritt lied to me, tell me to come to more, I ain't play, and or whatever. Now, as a, as a parent or whatever, not to do the parent. You lied to my kid. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to deal with a parent that I lied to their kid about anything. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't, I help the kid, hey, man, you know, playing here, you might, you might be better playing somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? And what I will say is, and more, we've been so this is kind of good. People reach out to us saying, "Hey, we want to come to more." So I don't consider that, that recruiting. No, I, I don't. Said the same thing. You know, what I'm saying? I, that's not recruiting to me. You know, what I'm saying? If, if a parent said, "Hey, coach, how can we get to more?" You know, how can we get involved in more? You know, what I'm saying I'm not saying I didn't call you. You called me. I didn't call you. So how I, how can I be recruited? And my brother, the, the parent want information of how the, the zones more have. You know, and we're moving into the zone. Cool. Mm -hmm. Who am I saying, no, I can't tell you what, what our neighborhood zones are? Mm. Who am I? I can't, I can't, I can't tell her that. <laughs> or him or him that. Mm. So I don't use the word recruiting. It's not recruiting. Now, if we reached out and said, hey, man, you need to come to Maury, man. You better off at Maury. Come to Maury and play with us. That's recruiting. Right. I, 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 mean, I mean, your DM telling you to come to Maury. Right. But if you say, hey, coach, man, I can talk to you right quick, man. How are you in the Maury? Just having a conversation. <laughs> you asked me a question. <laughs> it's simple as that. You know what I'm saying? And we all know that some people want to be part of a winner. We all know that. Yep. We all winning, know that. Winning, right? You win, people. Winning, take care of a lot of other stuff when you win it. Right. All the big stuff in front of the rug because you win it. We all know how that goes. So <laughs> we are winning. Like, they all want to be part of the wave. I want to be part of a winning program. That's a testament to your program. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Think about all the power in the country, the modern days. Those guys, those guys come in because they're really good. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about that. Like, those, 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 those public, them big power public schools, they get so every year they transfers in. Mm -hmm. In Miami, they broadcast transfers. Big ad, big posts. Hey, blah, blah, blah. Transfer to the, uh, North, Northwestern. They put it on their social media. They embrace it because that's their program, what they do. That's what, yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And been doing it. Been doing it. When you win, kids want to come. You know what I'm saying? That's how it go. Yeah, I got to ask you one more before I get, before we get into the fun stuff. I meant to ask you and I forgot. Why we haven't seen a Phoebus Maury game in the regular season? Because of the of their schedule. Now, you know, this year they're playing Highland Springs. Mm -hmm. Can we possibly see a first game next year, Maury and Phoebus? Ah, I know how you feel about Phoebus. Ah, man, I, and I would love to play Phoebus. I would actually love to play Phoebus, actually. Um, but I think that uh, just the schedule. I think that you know, I think they that, only allow one. Yeah, one game. You know, and we we got three, mm -hmm. so we got three our conference games. We got we got to fill out three of them. So um, it, 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 it could be in the works. I think a book it went like last year, but it didn't go through. But I think that next year could be possibly a, a time we can play them. Um, you know, I'm not sure of who gonna be where, but it, it can happen for sure. Which I'm sure they will probably refer to be over, yeah, because of the money split. Yeah, thing, that's kind of crazy. Stupid. That's crazy though. You know, don't get that money they own home game. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, we gonna get to some of this personal stuff, man. That I be seeing on your <laughs> timeline, man. <laughs> Last night, man, the girls' basketball, man. Uh huh. You be defending Kaylin Clark. I do. I love Kaylin. Give, give it to him, man, because people would expect that from you. Yes, so Kaylin is a give, dog. Give it to him, man. Give it to him. You, coach, it's 
unfair. It's, it's this girl is not the best player we've seen in a long time, man. She can shoot for anywhere. She a dog. Like she's really good. Like she, she's just out. She's really good though. Right. Like she is. I love her. I mean, think about it. She can Don Staley 30 and 40 both times she didn't play. Don't give him work. <laughs> do nothing. Do that with her. You know what I'm saying? Like if she had that her. Now, what I will say, I, I don't know about you guys, but I felt like her being her gave her to the guys around her better exposure. Right. Those guys, them, them girls she played with, they were average Joes. Yep. That's called what it is. She made them look good. She made them look good. They got two of them drafted. That's called what it is. Like, so I feel like she is a player that gonna make other players around her better. I think she's a she's a real old school scorer though. She trying to score. Yeah. Like she ain't trying to. She try to be no. She try to score. Give you work. <laughs> and if you try to shut that down, she gonna open it up. And she's smart to understand she's that though. Smart. Like she's not gonna try to force it. You know what I'm saying? That why we'll see some some questions shot sometimes. But she have time to go in. <laughs> Just it's fifty fifty. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I think Kate gonna be a ball. And I'm telling you, I think she's gonna have a great NBA career. Well, NBA career. I don't think she's gonna struggle at all. Right. Um, the other night she had what? She had what? Thirteen points the other night. Easy work. Mm-hmm. But she played. She had what, three three trays. Like so, I think she's gonna adapt really well to the uh, NBA game, pro game. I don't think she's gonna struggle at all. I think she's gonna have some lumps here and there, understand the game more. Right. But as far as her, her being a true scorer, she just we all know when you, in basketball when you a scorer, you a scorer. That's who you are. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's who you are. Like, but if you a point guard, you, you want to be professional. That's cool. Do your thing. But she's a true scorer. She want the ball in all the time. And as a coach, I want my my guy to be a guy. If I know you score, give me the ball. There you go. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> But, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose the ball in my guy hands. Yeah, I'm going to lose. I don't blame <laughs> I'm going to live with that odds. <laughs> now, how you feel about Juju? I know you said I, something about Juju. I, she, she's young. She's a freshman. Right. So, when I, when, even when I watched her play, she didn't wow me like Caitlin did. You know, I, I, th- I thought that she was, right. you know, she, she could ball, of course, but she didn't give me the wows like, hey, Caitlin, really that And, and dude, we just like, going to see yeah, her size. Yeah, and everything you know like what that. I'm saying? Like, so she didn't wow me with, 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 with her, I guess, skill set right now, but she's young. She's a freshman. So, and Caitlin's a senior. So, or junior, rather. So, I mean, it should be different between the two. You know, when you were a junior and a freshman, y'all should be on the same playing field. And that's about my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll tell anybody, as a coach, if my freshman come in and a junior on the same level, I'm playing the freshman. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. It's no reason why. I, you know, it's no, no reason. I'm sorry. Call me a bad coach or it's facing right. him. But if he's, if he's, I say that was my junior, I'll play. I'm playing the freshman. More years with him. More experience. Yep. <laughs> I mean, what we talking about here? But I'm gonna play that because he, he a program guy. Nah, I ain't doing that. No, I mean, <laughs> it don't mean nothing. <laughs> I'm talking with ball games. <laughs> right. I'm with ball games. <laughs> but you know, man, what's up with your Tennessee Titans, dog? <sighs> I saw you say they had the worst draft. <laughs> man, I'm gonna tell you right now, man. It's hard being a Titan fan, man. And it's funny, man. People always say, I have never heard of a Titan fan. And I get mad because like we're out here, bro. Like <laughs> we just there's a lot of us, but we out here, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I get mad because it I feel like it's a small market. You know, I, I don't think like we're not like LA, you know, it's a small market. We're, it'll be hard to get players to come to, to Nashville. You know, in the free agent market. I'm just saying what it is. Mm-hmm. But as far as drafting, man, we just – we drafted needs, but it was some guys that we, we should have took and came back for other lesser guys, brother. Like, the problem is not the receiver from Washington. Uh, I don't know his name. Yeah. Uh, number seven. It, it was two of them. Two of them. I thought we should have drafted him and came in the second and got a tackle in the second because two guys still viable tackle right, in the second. Right. So we got a receiver, the, the young quarterback, and we still got our tackle. tackle. Right. Still got him. You know what I'm saying? So my thing was like, we could we just the Bama Bama offensive linemen don't do well in the NFL. They and don't. They don't. They don't. So I'll be kind of worried to get another Bama lineman as a first round pick. We did fight with uh, Chase Womack. He ain't lead no more. <laughs> he ain't lead no more. <laughs> they got Thomason from Bama. Yep, he, they, he, yeah, they get the offensive line. They don't. They don't. They stink. So I would have been kind of worried taking a Bama lineman so high. We took him at seventh. So no, he got to play right now. <laughs> he got to play right now for me. Got to play him. He can't develop. He got to play right now. So he got to play right now. So I'm like, you know, we could do better. I, mean, I thought we took some average guys, um, but that young quarterback man, Will Levis, I believe in him. You know, it's a new head coach, an offensive minded coach. Mm-hmm. So I feel like we're gonna be able to throw the ball a lot more um, offensively. Last year it was Henry, Henry, Henry. I was like, our line stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. He was the most hit back to backfield in the whole league. Mm-hmm. Like he had hit the backfield so many times. Our offensive line was awful at run blocking. We was terrible. Our line, I think we we had thirteen different lineup changes all year. Thirteen different lineup changes 
during the season. O line. That can't happen. O line should be solid. Right. We had 13 different changes on the offensive line. Damn. Can't win no game like that. No. You <laughs> can't. Not at all. Guys confused. <laughs> What's going on? So man, we we we, we 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 rebuilding, man. It's it's real hard watching our games on Sundays, man. Cause I be I be early, early Sunday. I'm 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 ready to go. Go to the ball, get my little drink. I'm gonna watch this game, and I leave there just <laughs> distraught. <laughs> like, what are we doing? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it's tough, man. Pray for us, man. We'll be all right. Well, I'm trying to figure out which one I want to go to because <laughs> the last two. I'm not gonna even worry about the last one because I'm gonna probably lose my damn match. Yeah. So we're gonna do that one. Oh, oh my god. It's gonna be funny. Man, you be killing sexy red, man. <laughs> man. Hey man, let me start. Hey, come on, man. I, I, and I love it because I be wanting to say something. And I said, I'm gonna let Brio speak to that. I was about to go to, to, to the Carolina team, but I gotta get this sexy red one. <laughs> man. <laughs> But matter of fact, no, let's go to Carolina first. Then we go to sex. Okay. Okay. Carolina Tar Heels, man. You know I'm a Tar Heel fan. Yeah. I know you was just as oh, what's the, what's the word? Uh, Frustration is not the word. Oh yeah, man. You don't see basketball, y'all. I'm a I'm a <sighs> dar hard. I'm mean, five years old, man. I've been a dar hard Carolina fan. I have Vince Carter. I have Vince Carter. I, I was I'm that. I'm a Carolina fan to the thick and thin. I don't care nobody say. So that Carolina blue, it just it's something about it, man. And I felt like this year team, man, I felt like we I didn't think we, we, we was that good. Uh, I, this is my, I thought we was okay. I was hoping we can hit that mark when we needed to, to, to hit the mark. Right. And I felt like the guy big the Baycott guy from Richmond, man. That's my guy. I felt like he let us down a lot. I didn't think he got any better. I thought he was the same guy came as a freshman. I, the same I, I guy agree. Kid. I felt like there was like, no progression. No progression to his, to his and play. And I think they were working on those things in the offseason, but like, you didn't see it translate to game. Like he was just, it, he, he was supposed to be a guy for us. He was like an eighth year senior. Because, like, he, <laughs> come on, bro. What do we do? Stay three years. Like, what are we talking about, baby? Because he can shoot. Where? I mean, no, listen. <laughs> Tell me. No, listen. <laughs> they didn't allow him to do that. And I'm not, you know, but again, you know, I watched him in high school. My son played. Yeah. And he was able to shoot the ball. They just didn't let him. I'm not saying he's a knockdown stretch. Yeah. Man, but he can shoot the ball, but he didn't shoot it at all. Or either, I don't know if it was the system that told him that he can't shoot. Because North Carolina, big guys don't shoot anyway. Yeah, they don't. But nowadays, you have to extend yeah. that. But I do agree with you. I feel as though that he didn't grow. At all. Uh, they didn't allow him to grow. Yeah. I don't know which one it was. Hey man, I'm gonna turn and it down, I just man. felt like that he should have left after his first year. That's me personally. Most times, turn now. Most times when he got the ball, throw it somebody else. I got all his hands. Okay, <laughs> I, I hated mean, the ball in his hands. He was so clumsy. He was just so like just like. <laughs> he's so bad, yo. Yeah, this year he was a better passer. He yes, was, he, he had was, to become one. He used to struggle out of the double team. Yes, he has struggle. gotten better. He has gotten better oh. out of the double team. But but, but I thought that awesome. I'm, I'm a true. I mean, I'm, I'm true. But I understand your frustration. Yes, I, I watched the, the uh, recruiting. I go on Google. Type recruit got coming in on visits. I'm that kind. I'm that kind of fan. I'm locked into him. Right. So I thought R.J. Davis let us down. He was the guy. He was the reason why we lost that game. You can't be hot, 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 and in a game you. He was so passive. He didn't even try to pick and roll. He was trying more so just trying to get right there take over the game, son. You supposed to be the guy. You, you got us here. Why are we not going through our guy? Right. And I'm, I'm a cop. I truly believe if I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose shooting with the guy that got me here. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I agree. Like, I don't try to do something new or they ain't seen this yet. No, I don't give a damn what they haven't seen. Get up on the JR. <laughs> Let him go to work. If we lose, we lose. But the guy, I went down my best guy. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like he just kind of was so passive in that moment. I felt like as a guy, you have to be a guy. And my thing is, if you a guy, you got to be a guy all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think some of these kids nowadays, they pick and choose when they want to be that guy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why they die, oh, I'm not a top recruit, whatever. Like, Dogs are dogs. You should be a dog all the time, bro. Mm -hmm. Prime example, we, uh, Dre Lambert. Kelly Lambert. of a more receiver. 
he was always a dog. He was, coach, tough moments. Coach, throw me the ball right now. He go by my he, he come down with it. You know, so I'm like, yo, he was in the big moments, he played his best ball in the base of my, and that's my, what you want. You want it. Him, like we playing for Reiner, tough ass team playing for Reiner at, at home and it was a tough game. And he's like, Coach, give me the ball. Coach getting the ball. And he was able to make plays for it. He wanted to make those plays. 20, 2019. 18. Yeah. State game. We back yeah. back and forth. And he won the ball. And coach, and coach, I don't care. Hey, Dre, it's two over there. I don't care, coach. Throw me the ball. I'm going to catch it. He come down with it twice. Like, that's what we want as a coach. If you're a guy now and say you're a guy, be a guy all the time. That's, that's all I ask, man. No, I agree <laughs> with you on that one. Totally agree. <laughs> don't shy away for a big moment. Like, oh, passing the ball. You know what I'm saying? So, Go go out on him. You a guy? <laughs> if you ain't the guy, then we, hey. <laughs> no, I, I'm with you on that one. You, that's why I said I'm. Hey man, come on man. I just I still keep on. And I hate the fact when when I, and my thing I feel like you know another another thing I, I don't like is when let's say um, as a parent you know your kid is a guy. We all know your kid the best player on the team, right? Mm -hmm. And you 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 brag and brave about how he's this and that all the time, and. In a big game, you like playing the scope. Down wall from scope at a big stage. You know, you're playing in the scope, you 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 ready to go. And that person don't play as well. It's kind of passive. He go about six points or whatever. And someone says it, oh, well, he's our best guy, but he ain't do nothing. And my thing is, why are the parents mad? Because when he, he doing 30 points, you the whole world know about it. But when right. he got he, he had to go six for goddamn 24. <laughs> that being said. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate the fact that I want to give, I want to take the praise of my kid, but when my kid don't play as well, it's like, you know, talk about a kid. See, <laughs> but, when, when he, but, but when he doing well. It's like my kid had three touchdowns, he had 34 points, uh -huh. and the third. But now when he doing bad, you don't want me to talk about little Timmy. Little Timmy, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Come on, man. I'm trying to hear that. It's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I feel I'm like, roasting him. I'm roasting him. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and I said it. And you ain't got to watch me no more, but I said it. Mm -hmm. I hate that, man. Like, be able to take your kid right. didn't play well. He didn't play well. Great. Right. So if you want to sit up here and give him the praise, that he got to be able to take the same thing I'm when he don't do that. Say, so no I'm question saying. about it. <laughs> but that's your baby. I get it. <laughs> keep little baby off social media because if you talk about that, I'm going <laughs> That's how I know to go, man. Don't get me started. I'm going to take some tea on it. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah. man! I'm gonna get you out on here on this one. Okay, you got, you got you got five good minutes. Okay, sexy red man. <laughs> <laughs> she shouldn't even be a topic on this show. Man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. You ain't got to apologize. I'm for me. sorry, she, man. To me, I I, I, don't, I don't like, like her. her music. I don't like. I don't her. even like looking at her. I don't. I, I hate looking at her. I, I hate looking at her. I don't even know why she even <laughs> topic. I mean, like she stink, man. Like I feel like she just like dusty. Like. I, but I can't be the only one who thinks that. I swear to God. Like, she like she stinks, bro. Like, I wouldn't even, like, I just wouldn't want to be around her. It's almost like she just walk around, like. <laughs> like, <laughs> she, like, I ain't back today. Like, just like, just yeah, like, go. It's like, it's like, I'm, I'm looking at her. Maybe I should, I'm not going to say, because everybody's saying, like. like I can't be the only one think that, man. She look like a, a, a bloody tampon. I don't know. I don't know. Bro. It just when I look at her, I don't like, get excited when I see her. I don't like her. I don't, it's I don't. just like, oh my god. Like, <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, but don't just be. I thought she was, I, she was I so just dusty. Like, man. When you be going in, I'd be like, y'all be doing what? I can't do it. And them the people that be making the money. So shout out to her if she's doing. She, she got the clout and all that other stuff. I, I ain't just, hating, but I'm you just know, trying to figure know, out. I can't get on that bandwagon. You, you, and, and you're right, like me personally, I, I know, you know, uh, you know, when female rappers is someone that's very talented that can rap, you know, but we all know that, you know, sex sells. Sex appeal sells. You know it, what I'm saying? And for me, and she's she don't sexy. she don't do it for me. <laughs> she's not is, sexy at all. There is nothing. <laughs> nothing sexy about her at all. And that's I think that's what's getting it. She's not sexy at all. Her name is sexy Red. Red. <laughs> I, fuck it. But guys, some guys love her. I, I, I can't get with her. I can't, I can't do it. Do it. I, if I listen, if I had to pick between the two, I'm rolling with Glow. <laughs> I'm, 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 I say, I go I'm glow rolling with Glow. I, I, go I glow. fuck with Glow. I go Glow hard. But, but, I, I, but, but just, red, I can't do it. I can't do it, man. I got that for her. And I just need you to kind of just like, <laughs> oh my God. I'm just like, what the hell is this? Y'all can have her. I, I had to know. They can have her because I don't want her. I don't want her. <laughs> I can't do that with her. I'd be like, gosh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I thought it was just me, man. But hey, that's that's the no. Story, and I've been like, and if y'all sexy red people <laughs> that want to roast me, they went, I don't care. It's okay, Cole. It's, it's okay. okay. Yeah. I can take it's it. Nothing wrong like, with that. It's like, ugh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> like oh, you would get a TV screen. Have we lowered our standards that much? <laughs> what the? <laughs> like, I thought it be. Have we lowered our standards that much? That much that she is our top party in the rap game. I'm female. like, yo, man, we used to sit up here like so this, this Lil Kim and Foxy yeah, Brown and like Foxy Brown, like, right? Foxy Red, like, man, even Cardi B, you even know Cardi what I'm B. But now we sit up here going to like to this, to this coach, like. What? What are we doing here? I'm with you. So I guess there's a market for everybody. And, and hell yeah, there gotta be. Cause I'm like, <laughs> like she would be the equivalent to like when the whole social what was it the um the whole the new media came out with um America and the dude William Hung she bang she bang <laughs> she kind of like came out with that John like he got millions off that bullshit yeah. and I'm like. Coach, she ain't that coach. Shout out to her marketing team. <laughs> I'm, to tell marketing you. Marketing yes. team. Oh, I'm it's, sorry, man. Like, shout out to them. Like, and if I can make her, y'all can make anybody. Make anybody look good. I need to put stock in y'all. <laughs> no bullshit. Yeah. I'll let y'all DM me with y'all information and I'll let you boy, because I'm just like, for real. I don't know what the hell. No, no, look, don't, don't, don't think nothing crazy, Tim. I'm just saying. <laughs> Bruh. How the fuck? I don't know, man. I, I, like she, she wears clothes. Like she, she like I don't want to see you. I don't, don't want to see that, bro. She was shaking a little, little bow. How, like, how can you get a hard on? <laughs> no, I can't, do, I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I'm like, she I, you know, it'll be like <laughs> that, he does that for me at all. I, I'm me. like, ah. Uh, you know how like on the cartoons when <laughs> that damn be watering the, the flower and getting the flower just willing. Yeah, hey, bro, she just. I, I there's nothing there. Nothing there for me. I can't do that with her. I can't. But our kids love her. I, so at practice, we were my speaker with her. We asked for practice. I, we play that. They go crazy. Hey, hey, hey. They go crazy. Our players love her. <laughs> <laughs> I got a player right now who go to the concert. He can't wait to the concert. He gonna be there laughing that right. Hey, yo, right now. <laughs> we gonna close that out. <laughs> I'm done. I'm putting my he love, down. He loves that he ain't gonna be that lit. <laughs> Matter of fact, I might get a little shot of what it was. Yeah, in the, man. In the <laughs> Yo. But no, man, this was great, man. Oh, yeah, I love it. I you, think man. we did great. Well, I appreciate you, man, making the trip up here. You know what I'm saying? Today, two time state chair, Maury, defensive coordinator, man, Priv. Man, you got any shout outs you wanna give, man? Man, this to, to the Maury staff, man, uh, the school, um, the principal, um, the Reed, man, the staff. We have, we have a great staff. Um, shout out to Sid Norfolk, man. You know what I'm saying? We Norfolk better. versus Portsmouth. We are, we're getting better, man. See, getting better, man. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to my city, man, and uh, just I hope we all stay safe, man. But like I say, I enjoyed the interview. Um, can't wait to have you doing it again, man. Hey, man, you know I gotta have you back on. <laughs> you is must see TV. <laughs> you know, so. But no, man, everybody, shout out to 75, man. I appreciate y'all supporting me, man. And we just trying to extend this thing. And can't wait to see you on the sidelines again, man. For sure, man. I see this I see this fall, man. Yeah, definitely. So don't act up, man, because Harry Lee ain't going to let you in. I know, man. I, 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 <laughs> hey. <laughs> I already told you. Man. I want AC, man. That's why I want AC. That's why I want No, man. you ain't getting it. <laughs> but yeah, man, from everybody here, Baldwin VA, appreciate y'all dealing with my voice. It'll be back soon. And look. Just make sure y'all like, subscribe, keep the lights on, man. And this interview will be out sometime in the end of May of 2024, man. And we out. Good day, y'all. You know, go over and make sure that y'all check out my man, rickstocker.com, for any of your home buying needs. Appreciate it. Thanks again.